alkenes are now those aliphatics, those straight chain molecules that actually have a double bond. So they all end in ene, all the prefixes are, are the same. So now, here's how we do it. We look at this formula here, and that's the formula C2H4, right? And it follows that general formula right there, CNH2N. We've just lost two hydrogens, and we have made a double bond. Now, because we don't have as maximum amount of hydrogens on here as possible for, for a two-carbon uh, molecule, which would be six carbons, but we have four carbons instead, now we're not saturated with hydrogens anymore. That's called an unsaturated molecule. So, double and triple bonded chemicals are called unsaturated. This is an unsaturated hydrocarbon, whereas all the alkanes, because they're maxed out with hydrogens, are going to be called saturated, right? So, and that has a lot of implications, right? Like polyunsaturated fats and things like that. So if you've got an unsaturated fat, you have a double bond location in that fat. That's actually better for you. You can break that down easier. I'll, I'll tell you about that later, even though this is a kind of a stronger bond. Yeah. Now, that is going to be, because there is two carbons and a double bond, we're going to call that eth, and then of course they're going to end in ene, so that's ethene, right? So what's this one going to be here? Well, it's got a double bond here, and it's got three carbons long, so that's going to be a propene. Sure, I mean, that's, that's simple. Okay, now what about this one? Yes, Kevin Guy, I know, that's butene. Aye, it is, but... Do you realize that you could actually have the double bond here or here, which would be a double bond after the first carbon in the chain, but this is a double bond after the second carbon in the chain. It's in between the second and third carbon here, but we're going to call it after the second lowest number possible. But then what do you call it? Now, it used to be an easy name for it. Now, IUPAC has gone to a different type of way of naming it. This is the way, this is the standard way of doing it, and it might sound a little awkward to say, but this is the way it's done. This is a butene, but the ene, the double bond, is at the second carbon. So here's how you do it. It's a but to ene. Get it? But for four carbons, two because the ene is at the two. But two ene. What would the other one be if you actually had the double bond here after the first carbon? It would just be butene. You don't have to go but one ene because if it's after the first carbon, you always, everybody, if you just wrote down butene and somebody said to you, okay, draw butene, all you'd have to do is say, no, that's one, two, three, four carbons long, and I'm going to put the the double bond after the first one, I'm going to take for granted that it's there. By the way, did you notice how I built that? And, you, and the temptation might be to put a hydrogen up there. Don't do that! Teacher's going to take a mark off because that carbon can only have four bonds. Look at all my carbons only have four bonds. So there is one, two, three, four for that one, one, two, three, four for that one, and so on, right? Be careful how many bonds you put on. You put one here like that, now you got five around that carbon, you're going to get the whole thing wrong, your teacher's going to get real mad at you. Don't, don't let your teacher get mad at you, you don't want to lose marks. Be good to the teacher, and they'll be good to you. Now look, what about this one down here? Okay, this one's going to be, you've got a longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be a pent. Where's the ene? It's after the, well, it's after the third one. No, don't always read left to right. Sometimes it's right to left. So this is one, two, after the second carbon in from that way, we've got the double bond. So it's going to be an ene at the two. So it's a pent to ene. Now, that's a methyl group. Where's the methyl? Well, the methyl's on the second one in. No, no, no. We already said that the double bond is at the two. So we can't start renumbering the longest chain. Well, what takes precedence? Precedence, like what's more important? The double bond or triple bond that we're going to see later is more important than the branches. And so, because everything I'm basically going to tell you, take you through here increases in complexity, right? So the deal is going to be that this is going to be one, two, three, four, a methyl at the four, four methyl pent two ene. That's the name of that one. 